Early morning shots fired outside a Macon County Elementary School has a community on edge tonight. Investigators have arrested two people, 38-year-old Adam Conley and 28-year-old Catherine Jeter. The scene unfolded around 5.30 this morning outside of South Macon Elementary. Deputies say both suspects aimed their guns at the confronting officer who tased them. A total of five pistols, some loaded, were found on school grounds. Well, everything happened before students were in classrooms, but just as buses were heading out on routes, classes were canceled at the elementary school for today. And tonight we're learning more about the suspects. Neighbors say they lived in fear knowing Adam Conley had guns. News 13's Kimberly King is live outside of Franklin. That's where investigators have just executed a search warrant. Kim. That's right, Larry. In the last 30 minutes, deputies came back up here and put this crime tape perimeter all the way around Adam Conley's house, a judge signing off on a search warrant. At 2 p.m. this afternoon, sheriff's deputies walked around the perimeter of suspect Adam Conley's house, waiting for a judge to sign off on a search warrant. Sheriff's cars coming in and out of the drive. Neighbors say they know about Adam Conley. He's been a problem in the neighborhood for probably the last 15 years. Longtime neighbor Randall Cowart says he's often heard Conley fighting with his family next door. Have you ever heard shots fired out here? Yes, I have. I've had shots hit the top of my house. They've picked him up two or three times and nothing's ever done. Now something has been done after Conley and his girlfriend were arrested with guns outside South Macon Elementary. Sheriff Robert Holland says the confrontation happened behind the school at 5.30 a.m. well before any classes began. Randall, meanwhile, has been following developments in the investigation. He knows Conley has a history. Uh, he's been to the Sheriff's Department several times, and so maybe this time since it was on school property, it may be a federal offense, and they may do something about it this time. Now, uh, sheriff's investigators will be out here for the next several hours. Randall Cowart, the neighbor that I spoke to, said Conley admitted to him that he suffers from mental problems. I just got off the sheriff with the sheriff about 30 minutes ago, and he does say that both suspects had a history of drug use. He's also announced that there will be a news conference tomorrow morning on this case at 11 a.m. We will have a crew there and bring it to you with more information tomorrow. Reporting live in Macon County, Kimberly King, News 13.